Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I am here to show you guys how I got these nails. Yes, I did these all by myself and I wanna give you guys the tea on how I made that happen. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on my intro. We're just gonna jump right into it. So we all know that the quarantine is in full effect and we are all staying home, but I was not gonna let that stop me from making sure that my nails look good. So yeah, so I purchased these online and let me tell you something, I love press on nails. I have always been a fan of press on nails for a very long time, for years and with what kiss is doing now with like the designs and the shapes they are truly keeping up with the trends and i'm so with it i love press on nails they are my go-to um so i'm actually going to show you guys what comes in each kit whenever you purchase your press on nails if you want to purchase the same ones that i did i'm going to link everything down in the description box below in each kit, you'll receive a nail glue as well as a double-sided nail file and a wooden cuticle pusher. I know that some kits actually provide a nail adhesive tab, so if you were uncomfortable with using the nail glue, you can stick to those tabs. I recommend the nail glue always because it's so secure. Okay, so here's where things start to get a little more interesting. So as I was sizing the nude nails onto my natural nails, I had a strike of inspiration and I thought, you know what? I'm going to spice things up a little bit. So I decided to take one of the accent nails in one of the other nail kits and incorporate it into my nude nail application so here you're gonna see me choosing which accent nail from which kit to incorporate <laughs> for a bit I was a little indecisive about but I'm just gonna speed the clip up because who wants to see me be indecisive about which nail to put on If you're having difficulties figuring out which press-on nail to size with your natural nail, at the tip of every single nail, there is a number assigned to it. And in the kit, the numbers are assigned from zero to nine, zero being the largest in size and nine being the smallest. So it's easier to differentiate what nail you want to size with your natural nail, just in case you're having difficulties figuring out which one you want to put on. I have grabbed a few extra tools. So I grabbed my tweezers and my nail clippers. I personally like to cut my natural nails prior to applying the press-on nails because underneath, my nails grow a lot faster and a lot more even. Um, and with my tweezers, I clean up my nail bed. It just makes for the application of the nails to look way more professional and so clean it's great i promise you you will not be disappointed what i like to do is i like to take my glue and i'll put one drop of glue on the press on nail and I'll take the manicure stick and I'll distribute that one drop of glue throughout the whole nail. And then I'll take the glue and put a drop in the center of my natural nail and I'll distribute the glue throughout my natural nail as well. Just so that I know that I'm not using too much glue. It makes for a perfectly balanced amount of glue on your nail and it will definitely solidify that your nails are gonna be secure I promise you this is the best way to do it um 
<laughs> I've had moments where I would put on not enough glue and then my nails would come off like two days later. And then I had moments where I would put, put on too much glue and it was a whole mess. So one drop of glue on both the Presto nail and your natural nail and you'll be fine. If you're a little heavy handed, I would say go slow with the glue. Um, and definitely distribute it with the cuticle stick or any other tool that you can or have on file. <laughs> but yeah, this is how I like to do it. So yeah, here is the finished application of the nails. Um, if you wanted to just stop here and rock it how it is, I wouldn't be mad at you. But I'm going to show you a little extra step of customization that I took because I just I wanted to flex a little bit so here I'm going to show you guys what I did um the materials that you'll need are very minimum and I love this color right here oh my gosh it's so pretty love this color so yeah I'm going to show you what I did just to step up the application and the customization of these nails so that you're not you know you 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 exceptional <laughs> so yeah This part of the tape right here, we do not want to use that. It will mess up the design and we don't want that. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one piece of the tape and you're gonna lay it diagonally across your nail and then do the same thing with the second piece. And what that will do is it will form an X on your nail. Um, make sure that when you apply the tape that you did leave a little space at the tip of the nail because that space right there is what we are gonna paint. Okay, we're gonna paint our nail and it's gonna look so bomb, I promise you. The application may seem a little weird. I know like, it's kind of like, what are we doing? But once everything is set and done, I promise you it's going to look so bomb and fire. You're going to be like, ah! I'm going to be like, yes, girl, yes. So, yeah. So, then I am just going to take my tweezers. You don't necessarily need tweezers for this, but I took my tweezers and I removed the tape after the nail polish was completely dry make sure that the nail polish is dry because if you remove the tape a little too soon you can ruin the perfect edges um and yeah after that this was just how my nails looked this is the final result thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to your girl i have way more tips and tricks up my sleeve to show you guys i want to thank my pillow for being my lovely assistant today <laughs> and yeah um i'll catch you guys on my next one all right bye <laughs>